what's up guys um first things first sorry i look a hot mess i just got home from work but this video isn't about me like so you're not gonna be looking at my face this video is about wigs and weaves as you can see from the title so yeah i'm not really gonna be on camera but i just wanted to make this intro um basically i'm just gonna show you guys how to revive your wigs like after you wore them like a couple of times and they looking kind of rough like how to bring them back to life basically and they look good isn't it so yeah let's keep on watching guys okay guys so i have the wigs right here um this one is the worst <laughs> this one is yeah a hot mess but um and i have this one so yeah we're just gonna wash these i'm gonna start with one, probably this one Mm, yeah so what I'm gonna use when I need to like revive my wigs I use this shampoo I hope you guys can see that yeah silicone mix and then the silicone mix um, conditioner so yeah I think I'm gonna switch over to um, voice over now so you guys can hear me when I be running the water. So. Okay, so basically now I'm just, you know, wetting the hair to get ready to shampoo it and whatnot. And yeah, that's basically all I'm doing. And then here I'm showing you that it's a closure and not a front. Okay, so now I'm just, you know, squeezing the shampoo on my hand. And I'm showing you what it looks like, how it's like a clear color. And I'm showing you like the consistency of it. It's like gooey, like snot kind of. But yeah, so I'm just basically, you know, washing the wig now. Shampooing it, just like how you would shampoo your regular hair. And that's about it. You gotta make sure you're getting when um all the tangles out when you do it. Um, so right here I'm just basically finger detangling it a little bit as I shampoo it. Um, but then I'm gonna get the comb and actually you no know, comb through it to make sure it's actually detangled how it's supposed to be. Um, Cause yeah, there's no point of washing your hair if you're not gonna detangle it. But yeah, so that's all I'm doing right here, making sure it's detangled. Okay, so I'm just showing you how much shedding I got when I was detangling it. And now I'm squeezing out the water so it's not dripping wet so much. And I'm just rinsing out the shampoo and I'm making sure the closure is clean. Also, um, they don't get as dirty as frontals, I would say, but still got to make sure it's clean and make sure you get all the shampoo out of the wig also. And then now I'm going to do the conditioner. Make sure you get a good amount. It's kind of fluffy, kind of creamy-ish. I don't know what the word is, but yeah. So I'm going to basically do the same thing I did with the shampoo and make sure it's all over the hair and it's coated good. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. You guys have washed your hair before. You basically know what to do. And I'm not going to rinse out the conditioner. I'm going to um, leave it when I'm done conditioning it so it can sit. Obviously, like you're supposed to let conditioner sit. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. So you'll see that. Okay, so I combed out or combed through this wig. This is a different wig. This is a frontal. And as you can see, all of the glue that I'm showing you that's on the frontal so when we wash it we have to make sure we get all of that this is another wig that I'm going to be washing it's a frontal also it is red as you can see um 
this this freaking wig was so messy to wash because of the color but yeah you'll see it <laughs> throughout the video it was a hot mess but yeah so um i rinsed or not rinsed but i you know wet the wig so i can wash it so just about to do that now like i said this is like a semi semi <laughs> this is a semi permanent um color so it you will be seeing it like wash out some so don't think it's not normal <laughs> or whatever but yeah um so i'm just gonna wash it like how i washed all my other wigs it's no different other than the color um but yeah now we just wait okay so now it's been about i don't even know how long it's been like some hours though um so i'm just renting out the wigs um in the order that i wash them and that's literally about it just renting out the shampoo and all of the wigs you can see the red one which is the what I'm even trying to say the what you're seeing in the water is the red wig from the dye or whatever so yeah okay so this is real ghetto but I basically just put all the t uh wigs here in this towel towel and um yeah just like folded it up so it wasn't like dripping or whatever but I put them like up so the um Make sure the insides could dry because you don't want the insides of your caps wet um, for the most part. So I'm going to basically leave these here overnight and then tomorrow I'm going to come back and check how dry they are and like dry them like with the actual dryer on the insides and um, go ahead and dry the hair also. But yeah, as you can see, they are looking good. They don't look dry. They look very healthy. So, okay guys. So, it's been about two days now, actually. Ignore all this messiness. But uh, yeah, it's been about two days since they've been here. So, I'm going to, um, like, the inside is pretty much dry. So, I, that's why I did leave it an extra day. Um, so, yeah, they're pretty much dry. I probably when I dry like the hair I'm gonna go ahead and probably hit the inside also but yeah I'm gonna um, pick one up and show you guys what it looks like okay so this is what the wig is looking like as you can see it is very flowy I don't have a wig head to put this on to show you guys right now, but as you can see, I'm running my fingers through it. It has a lot of body shine, if you guys can see that. This is its um, natural state. But yeah, looking like this is the other black one, but it's the frontal one. The other one was the closure one. Um, but yeah, this one, same thing. Can run the comb through it with no problem. Has a lot of body and movements. Again, you can see like the natural shine. So yeah. So you seen like the color coming out because this is a semi-permanent color. All the color is still here, still looks good. 
that's the under. This is the inside. Like so, yeah. This also glides through with no problems. So yeah. And also, if you guys are interested in purchasing this wig, I'm gonna actually sell it because I don't wear it anymore. Um, it, as you can see, it is a frontal. It has an adjustable band, or well, not adjustable, but it has a band on the inside to make sure it fits your head and everything. Um, as you can see, like it's colored, like red. It's like a, not a bright red, but yeah. A decent red. Um, I can't remember the inches. I'm gonna say it's probably like a 24. 24, maybe 26 inches. If anyone is interested, I'm gonna sell it for really cheap because like I said, I don't wear it anymore. Um, it's a good wig. I just, um, the only thing about it is, like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm always honest with you guys, but it sheds a little bit, but because it's, you know, obviously colored, but that's the only thing, so if you don't mind a little bit of shedding, because of obvious reasons, like I said, it's colored, then you're good, but, um, yeah, there's no other problems other than that, so yeah, if you're interested in this, then, um, let me know. Okay, so this is the final product. You can't really see it. The lighting is very not good right now, but um, this is the final product. These are them in their natural state, freshly after being washed, like not straightened or anything. Let me bring it over here. Not straightened. So obviously there's like some flyaways. Oh, ignore his wine bottle, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, there's some flyaways and stuff, but... This is it in its natural state before it is flat ironed. But yeah, still looks good. Smells really good. So yeah. That is it.